two games at Spectrum Field. And Eddie's first delivery to Coco Montez, the leadoff hitter for USF, is ripped down the line fair. And Montez on the first pitch is going to have a stand-up double. And this is ripped toward left center. It's going to fall in for a hit. Montez rounds third. He will come in to score. Stunkel stops at second. But it's an RBI single for David Villar. That elimination game to stay alive and get to today. This one's ripped down the line. Off the glove of the third baseman. And fair. Rounding third and heading home is Garrett Zeck. And it's 2-0 USF. Moving from the stretch. This one's ripped deep to left. Heading back for it is Phillips. He looks up. It's off the warning track and over the wall. It's a ground rule double. That's actually a bad break for Wichita State. With a runner on first. Nobody out. Pitch. Rip down the line and right. That's big trouble. And it will fall in and go all the way to the wall. Janard round second. He will head for third. He's going to round third and head for home. And here he comes. And he will score standing up. And he looks at strike three. Two straight strikeouts for Clayton McGinnis. And the lefty deals. And this is laced up the middle and down for a base hit. Stunkel rounds third, comes in to score, and it's an insurance run for USF. They now lead 5-1. to one. And the 2-2 through the hole left side, base hit. Chatfield comes in to score. Rounding third and coming home is Dutka. The throw is cut off, and it's a two-RBI single for Garrett Zeck, and USF has opened up a 7-1 to one lead on Wichita State in this elimination game. Season-long outing. His previous long was six innings against UConn back on March 25th, and Bump swings and misses at the 3-2 delivery. Strike three. Doubled his first time, and he trickles this one down to third. Villar fields and fires, and that's your ball game. Colin Sullivan, a complete game for the USF Bulls on the mound.